Liam Bowling. That's me. James. How you doing? Yeah, good. Are we good whenever? Yeah, I'll let you know when your way. time's sure. up. Good for what's being this way. So just this try way. and uh, keep that back there. That's it. Perfect. And camera's running. Okay. When you're ready. Okay. Um, thanks for, for doing the interview with us. Pleasure. Um, so I guess to start, what interested you about Pyramid? Well, first and foremost, it was a horror film uh, because I really like horror. And I really, I get a real strange pleasure from being really scared in a horror film. I don't know what that is. It's almost, it's like addictive. Like, um, like I know that I'm not going to like it, but I really want it. The same as just people watching it, because I, I jumped out my seat several times Great. during the film. Great, brilliant. Um, which did its job, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just, you know, it's the classic horror. That you, you know, you've got to go to the cinema to see it as well. With, you know, with the big screen and it's pitch black and those huge speakers that they have in those, you know, multiplexes, mm. it's just, it will make you jump. Yeah. Um, I mean, did you find that um, doing horror was... Uh, a a bigger challenge for you having done stuff like the in between as people expect you to be that sort of comedy character sure um i think just through the fact that i can't help it that i maybe bring a little bit of comedy and sarcasm with me into this um but that just that made that made it easier for me because it just made me feel more comfortable and and uh it was like a gateway into another genre um which is which is great, yeah. I mean, obviously, it's it's those challenges and those things that you, that I feel I'm going to find difficult that I find most interesting. Mm. I mean, your character here is, is quite dark, and he goes on a, a pretty horrific journey, doesn't he, through the film? Yeah, yeah. Um, and obviously, without spoiling anything, um, you go through a, you go through a lot. Yeah. And um, I, I think it'll be a shock to a lot of people seeing that. Compared to like Jay, for I instance. guess so. Yeah, I mean, what I really liked about the character most was that um, he felt like he was the audience, mm. like he felt like he was like almost a voice of reason, like at the beginning when then when everyone's like, oh well, you know, we were going to this pyramid. Like it, my character's attitude is like, well, don't go in there. Like, no, that's mm. ridiculous. Who knows what kind of trouble we're gonna get into? And that, like, it's almost like he's saying what the people are going to be saying in the audience going don't go behind that door like mm. you know I really like that it was al it was almost sort of like metaphysical like it was it was uh, mm. um, it, yeah but I, and, and and that's what I sort of I really enjoy it because obviously it's a completely different character to Jay as well so mm. um, it was nice to do something a bit different obviously the filming experience would have been quite different as well um, but did they did they get you out to Egypt, or did you have to be stuck in the studio the whole time? We were in a studio, but it was in Morocco. Nice. So, um, yeah, it was all right. It was in a town called Wazazat, which is... Um, it's it's sort of nickname is The Door to the Desert, and it's just, like, near the Sahara or something, and um, that's all that's there. Like a studio, a hotel, and a little French restaurant. Mm. I mean, did you have any um, any particularly terrifying experiences while filming it? Um, it took me it took me a while to get there because flights were sort of cancelled and um, and I sort of got halfway there and then somebody came and picked me up and then uh, the tire blew like in the middle of this desert road. Uh, I've not I've not told anyone about this before and it was it was quite surreal it was like there was a lot of stuff saying to me that you know you shouldn't do this <laughs> um it was almost like someone was trying to intervene trying to really stop me from turning up to the uh to the set um but I got there in the end and um and yeah it was it was I was really glad I did well, there are horror stories about our cursed sets. I mean, The Exorcist, course, for one example. Yeah. So, you yes. know, count yourself lucky. Yeah, I didn't think of that at the mm. time. I'm glad you weren't there to point that out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah. I would have felt very paranoid. Yeah. What was it like actually filming it? Did you have to, um, did that actually throw you into, like, again, without spoiling too much, um, 
Did they throw you into some tight spaces? And, and yeah, of course. Yeah, all that stuff is built. It was yeah. that whole set was made, and uh, everything's real. You know, there's no green screen. There's f- few sort of CGI things that mm. you know for stuff that doesn't exist. But you know, other than that, there's everything there was 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 built and made and physical, mm. and uh, you know, and w- we were running around in the pitch black. You know, getting stuck in sand traps and booby traps, and uh, it was yeah, it was amazing. It was like a, it was like a like being in like a proper sort of action film. It was it was great. So you weren't really acting then. They just threw you. No, in the not at all. Well, on. that's the thing. Yeah, that, I mean, I'm not I'm not a good enough actor really to unless I really just f- forget where I am. Like unless I can forget I'm on a film set and I'm just sort of unless I really think that that's where I am in my head, is that I am being chased in a in a pyramid, mm. then uh, unfortunately I'm not talented enough to just sort of try and pretend. I have to really sort of, in my head, go go to that place. Um, and so if I hear someone like talking, or, and uh, I'm just sort of, and I'm taken out, like I just go, to, I get a bit upset. And uh, like I'm the guy that sort of, uh, that takes Christian Bale's side when he had a go at that lighting bloke. Because all I keep thinking is like, well, yeah, like if someone's putting you off, like he, his job's meant to be to help you. Mm. And like, it's really difficult. And it's like, I, like I find it difficult because I'm not very good at my job. That's that's what that, <laughs> that's what that's all about. So I, I need all the help I can get. Um, well, luckily, there wasn't many lighting guys. Exactly, on set, yeah. But I'm a complete hypocrite because if someone else is on set and I'm just uh, off it, I'm just cracking jokes and singing and just being a complete nuisance. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, as we're running out of time, I have a few quick fire things for you. Sure. Um, just uh, uh, one or the other. Um, so, rock or chips? Chips. Australia or Morocco? Australia. Blonde or brunette? Your hair, sorry, not yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, brunette. Comedy or horror? I mean, I'm just, I'm just, comedy's in my veins. Mm. But I'm going to say horror. <laughs> <laughs> Sensible. Um, and lastly, um, completely selfish. Um, I'm getting married soon, so if you want a DJ, oh, okay. um, you know, one of the Oh, you don't so. want that, honestly. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Last time I DJ'd, I felt like I was the oldest man in the world. Well, I'll bet you in mind anyway. Okay. All, All right. right. Okay. I'll, be, I'll be there. <laughs> That's on camera, yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Cheers. Thank Cheers, you. James. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Nice Pleasure. Cheers.